Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to discuss first shifting property for inverse Laplace transform. So first we have to write down statement here. If we have given this L inverse of f of s is f of t, then L inverse of f of s minus a is given by this e raised to a t into f of t, right? Yes, when we shift this s to s minus a in this f of s, then Laplace transform is given by this e raised to a t into f of t, right? Where this f of t is Laplace inverse of this f of s, right? Now we have to prove this statement here. Yes, we have given that L inverse of f of s is equals to f of t. That means Laplace of this f of t is f of s, right? Now we know first shifting property, right? So what is first shifting property? Laplace of e raised to a t into this f of t is given by this f of s minus a right this is by first shifting property of laplace transform right yes yes when we multiply this f of t by e raised to a t the resulting laplace is given by this is right now we have to shift this l operator on this side so here we have this is l inverse of this f of s minus a is this remaining this e raised to a t into f of t right and this is we have to prove here so this is first shifting property for inverse laplace transform right now yes what is f of t f of t is l inverse of this f of s right this is inverse Laplace transform of f of s that means again we can write this is as this e raised to a t into this is l inverse of this f of s right yes from this one we can write this is as here right that means l inverse of f of s minus a is given by this is right where this a is constant that means we can have also this is here f of s plus a. So resulting inverse Laplace is here, right? We have to write down this is here e raised to minus a t into l inverse of this f of s, right? Yes, we can check that here when we have this l inverse of f of s minus a, right? Here we have to write down this e raised to a t into l inverse of f of s. And same here, when we have l inverse of f of s plus a, we have to write down this e raised to minus a t into l inverse of f of s. Yes, we can check that here. We have to take this minus a outside. When we take this minus a outside, here we have to write down e raised to a t. And when we take this plus a outside here, we have to write down e raised to minus a t, right? And remaining l inverse of f of s, this is as it is, right? Yes. Now, yes, this is, yes, this l inverse of f of s, we have to solve that is by using basic inverse Laplace transform formulas, right? Yes, this is first shifting property for inverse Laplace transform. Now we have to see how to apply this property here. Now we have to find L inverse of 1 upon S minus 4 its square. Yes. Now here we can check that here we have S minus 4 right. That means this is of this type right. So we have to apply for shifting property here. Now we have to take minus 4 this outside here right so when we take this minus 4 outside here we have to write down e raised to 4t yes here we have to write down plus 4t right and remaining l inverse of yes remaining what here what we have 
this is s square right and we know yes what is this inverse laplace yes this is here we have t l inverse of 1 upon s square this is t here yes these are the basic inverse laplace transform formulas yes which we have seen in last lectures right yes we have l inverse of 1 upon s raise to n this is what this is t raise to n minus 1 upon n minus 1 factorial right so we have applied this is here next if we have to find l inverse of yes if we have this is 4 upon s plus 2 raise to 5 yes so how to find l inverse of this is yes we have to apply cost shifting property here since this s is in the form of s plus 2 right so that means here we have to take this 2 outside right here we have to take plus 2 outside that means here we have to write down e raise to minus twice t right and remaining l inverse of yes what is this here this is 4 as it is and remaining this as raise to phi u yes what we have taken this we have taken this is 2 outside so that here we have to write down e raise to minus twice t yes now this is e raise to minus twice t and this is again we can take this 4 outside of this operator right so this is now yes what is this how to find l inverse of this is by using this formula right here we have l inverse of 1 upon s raise to 5 that means here we have to write down this is t raise to this is 4 upon 4 factorial right what we have done we have applied this formula here now we can simplify further here right yes next l inverse of this s plus 6 upon s plus 6 it square plus 9 yes now we have to find l inverse of this is Again, we can check that here we have s plus 6, right? That means we have to apply for shifting property. So, what we have to do, we have to take this plus 6 outside. That means here we have to write down e raise to this minus 60, right? And remaining l inverse of remaining here, we have this is s upon s square plus 9, right? Here we have plus 6 right so for applying for shifting property we have to take e raise to minus 60 outside and remaining term this is as it is yes and this is what l inverse of this right again this is cos of 3t this is basic formula basic inverse laplace transform formula right next if we have to find l inverse of if we have this is 1 upon s minus 1 it square plus 4 yes again right here we have s minus 1 it square that means we have to apply for shifting property so what is this here we have to take e raise to yes we have to take this minus 1 outside when we take minus 1 here we have to write down e raise to plus 1 right this is plus 1 and this t as it is right and l inverse of remaining here we have s square plus 4 right yes what is this e raise to t this is as it is and l inverse of this again yes what is this inverse this is here 1 upon 2 sine of twice t right this is l inverse of this one right yes next we have to find l inverse of this is s upon s minus 7 it square plus 5 right yes now we can check that here in numerator here we have s and in denominator here we have s minus 7 now to apply for shifting property this complete f of s should be of this form this is s plus a or f of s minus a right so for this yes we have to adjust this s minus 7 in numerator so that we can apply for shifting property here right 
so here we have to adjust as minus 7 so for this we have to adjust here we have to write down plus 7 so yes as minus 7 it square plus 5 this denominator as it is here we have write down plus 7 minus 7 right now yes now we have to apply for shifting property here we have s minus 7 right we have to take this minus 7 outside so for this here we have to write down e raised to this 70 right by first shifting property and remaining this s here and this plus 7 as it is and again here we have to write down s and s square here right so, and this is 5 as it is yes we have write down this is by first shifting property when we have minus 7 here we have to write down plus 7 right yes now yes we have to find l inverse of this is so yes we can check that we have to apply linearity property right so l inverse of this is s upon s square plus 5 and this is l inverse of 7 upon s square plus 5 yes we have to write down this function so that we can find it's inverse easily by using basic inverse Laplace transform formulas, right? So now L inverse of this is we have S upon that means here this is cos of root of phi u t, right? Yes, and here this is 7, this is outside, this is L inverse of 1 upon S square, this is root of phi u t square, right? This is e raised to 70. This is cos of root 5 t 7 yes this is 1 upon that means this is constant upon right. So this is here 1 upon root 5 u into sine of root 5 u t yes. So this is L inverse of this s upon s minus 7 it square plus 5 u. So yes. Yes, we have find Laplace inverse of this function. First, we have apply first shifting property. Then we have apply linearity property. Yes, we have to write down this function so that we can apply basic formulas, right? So that we can find inverse easily. Yes, so in this way, we have to proceed for first shifting property of inverse Laplace transform. So yes, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Thank you. Keep watching.